Hey guys, this is Jamop, aka Habo Abuser here, and we're back on the Dykecraft server. I apologize for the long wait between episodes. Um, I've actually haven't had much time to record episodes with Christmas and all, so this is a late Christmas special. Um, but anyway, I'm going to be opening my presents today um, because there's a new spawn village. Well, not really spawn village yet. I'll show you what it looks like. Um, this is what it looks like. So there's the plots here, are uh, quite small, and there's the Christmas tree. And you see we've decorated Jackson's decorated it with uh, lights and redstone torches, and he's got a redstone circuit to power them. So I'll just head down now. So this will be a late Christmas special Boxing Day where I live, which is Australia. Um, but I guess it's still Christmas in some areas of the world, such as America. So this is the spawn village. Uh, I like the use of wood here. I, I'd say this vanilla wood is my favorite type of wood, and these um, slabs here also work well. And I see someone's put snow around here, even though it's a forest biome, and it doesn't snow in forest biomes. So anyway, I got up to a bit of pranking a few days ago. I pranked um, Melon Party. I uh, keep remembering the um, the real names of the people. Um, anyway, so I pranked Melon Party. I put a redstone circuit into his house, actually three redstone circuits, and I um, used doors and made a noise maker, and to to hopefully annoy him. And uh, I wasn't the only pranker. There was also uh, General Menace, Itonixa, and Ender George. They all pranked him as well. I think Ender George covered his place in soul sand, and I'm not sure what General Menace did. Uh, and Itonics are uh, made, well, ge put genitals, rather large genitals, around his yard area, or his swamp biome. So, um, let's open my presents. So, I've got one here. Ooh, why thank you, General Menace. Lots of ice, I see he has a silk touch pick, what's this? Ooh. Thank you. Efficiency 5, Fortune 3. Another diamond pickaxe. Wow. I really wasn't expecting this, this much for Christmas. But. Hmm. Cookies. I haven't got enough inventory space for all this. Gust here. I'm not sure what I'd do with that. I'll just leave this wooden door here from the pranking. Uh, some melon seeds. I do need those. I'm planning on planting melons. Uh, let's see. I've seen, I see a lot of presents here, I'm not sure, oh, there's nothing in these chests. Uh, so, there's some other presents for the other people on the server. Oh, here's another one for me, from Melon Party. I thank you, Melon Party. Ooh, where am I going to put this stuff? Carrots. Yum. I love carrots. Slime balls. Yes, I do need slime balls. Ooh, music disc. C418 Melee High. I rather like that track. Uh god, what am I gonna throw out? Cobblestone. Lapis lazuli ore, wow. Coal ore. <laughs> Have I got coal already? No. I'll just put my boots on. There we go. Cobwebs. And some coal. So I see someone has a silk touch shears. There we go. Stone pickaxe. Alright, so that's what I've gotten for Christmas. Um, I rather liked this Christmas on the Dykecraft server. So the Christmas tree was designed by General Menace, as I've already told you. Um, he's used a clock, I think, to power this redstone, these redstone lamps here. And you can see the redstone torches there flashing on and off. I rather like the look of the tree. He went through a lot of different designs until he finally found the perfect one. So anyway, more about this spawn village. Um, it's I I see the ground here has been terraformed um, because really there doesn't exist such a flat area in a forest biome. So this place borders on the jungle biome right here, and oh, gotta eat. And over here we have a really an unknown house. I don't know who this belongs to. I think this is either Blake's or Riley's failed house. Um, I'm I think 
Blake or Riley, they might have quit the server or something. Uh, Blake H and Riley H. I see a lot of torches here. Uh, I'm not sure if they're coming back. They haven't been on for weeks now. Um, so, I, I like how in this update on Christmas Day, Christmas Eve and on Boxing Day, uh, they turned the chest into Christmas presents. So the double chest looks like this. And a single chest. I'll see if I can find a single chest. If all else fails, I guess I'll just make one. And I'll show you what it looks like. So it's a red Christmas present. But while still keeping the chest shape and the chest lock here, and two Christmas trees here, and around the the present. So and here's a wheat farm with some awfully trampled crops crops. I see some of them have even grown back into grass. Wow. I think this is Riley's because he loves growing wheat. Ever since I showed him how to grow wheat, he's just been going a bit overboard with it. Um Yeah, so there's a lot of wheat waiting to be harvested if you just come back on the server. Um so here's the nether portal. I don't think uh, it's linked back up to the nether hub yet, um, but I'm sure that will ha eventually happen. So I'll just clear this up, and I'll see you guys at the nether hub. Hey guys, I'm back. On the way to the nether hub, I found something highly unusual. There's a cow in on my floating island. And it's about 100 blocks in the air, and I don't know how it spawned. It must have spawned from the lights, but I thought cows only spawned on grass, so... I'll just have to take him somewhere. Mm. I'll have to house him somewhere until I can find out what to do with him. Might just put him in a corner here. Oh man, this is going to be difficult. Get in there. Oh. <sighs> Nearly there. He can just roam around here. Hopefully he won't despawn. I don't think peaceful mobs like him despawn. Ugh, I have to get rid of this ugly sight. Stay right in here, okay? I hope he listens. I hope he doesn't kill himself by walking off the floating island because there's really no supports other than the fences here. So recently this um, the nether has been well <laughs> close to the area close to the nether hub has been hit by ghasts and you can see from all the fires here um, George and Ender George and General Mess have been adding kind of a protection to some areas like my nether portal but well it's pretty basic and I'm I mean ghosts can still get through here so we I might eventually make my train line once I get enough rails but right now I like I said I died and um, I lost all my stuff I had to get it back it took me a while um, that actually happened while I was at the LAN party. Um, because this server, well, for some people it's fine, for some people it's not. Uh, at the LAN party, uh, when I was at Experience Pan Panda's house, well, the place kind of. Well, the, it kind of uh, jittered or something, and when I logged in, I fell through the ground. I was right about 
here, fell through the ground and fell into lava, and there was nothing I could do. I burnt to death. So, yeah. Well, I see Jackson, uh, General Menace, or Jackson, has got a present here from Ender George. I don't think he's opened it yet. Should probably tell him to open it. Um, Saxon still hasn't done anything. George, I think, has nearly finished his rail line over here. Oh, he's getting really close. So anyway, I have a new mouse. I got it for Christmas, the Logitech G400. Uh, it goes up to 3600 DPI, and I rather like it. It feels very nice in your hand. Uh, it's easy to turn and move around. Uh, yeah, I really have no faults with it yet. Uh, you can program the buttons to do whatever you want with Logitech's gaming software, and I'd definitely recommend it. Oh, this rail goes on for a while. Thank you for taking Ender George Express. Portal is right ahead. Aha, there it is. So I might take this now. Hope I don't suffocate in the wall or anything. Here I go. Wee. My diamond booties. I think Anna George has already used this if all the levers are turned on. Hmm. Very nice, Ender George, very nice. Alright guys, I might show you the footage of the prank now. I'll see you guys back at base. Hey guys, this is Jamop, aka Habo Abuser here. Just adjusting my microphone. And today we're at the Nether Hub again. Um, there have been a number of improvements to the Nether Hub, uh, particularly this staircase here and some more sandstone has been added. Uh, I think the second floor is complete now, we're just waiting for the people to move in. Here's Miles's place. He's uh, recently added. Uh, he hasn't done much except replace the archway with cobblestone and the inside as well. Uh, here we've got the railway tracks and over here as well. Um, also down here uh, we've finished the first floor. We have George's area which is made out of stone and his rail line is uh, starts here and he's nearly finished it um, but he, he I think he still has a little while to go. He's uh, decorated this place here with cobblestone fences um, or walls and he's using uh, powered rails powered by these levers here which are turned on uh, he could just use redstone torches but yeah I guess he could disable them individually um, so but the re main reason why I'm, why I'm here is because well I'm going to prank Saxon today uh, the reason why I'm pranking Saxon is because he pranked uh, General Menace, and he he pranked him pretty bad. He put trees all around his village, and um, he even put trees in the sky, and that would take ages to clean up. Uh, General Menace will probably be uploading a video soon showing the prank, but for now, let's get on to the pranking. So, basically what I'm going to do is make a noisemaker out of redstone. It's an oldie but a goodie, so I'm making a simple redstone circuit like this. And then I'm placing redstone torches here. Right. I'll just turn on my sound, hide it off because of ghasts. And Ooh. it flicks on and off if I put a door. Uh, have I got a door? Yes. I put a door here. Oh, it's weird. Okay, maybe I'll extend this out. Yep, there we go. Making that horrible noise. Now I'm planning to do this with more than one door. Look at all that lag. Wow. Um, so just make a horrible noise. Oh, 
Oh, it's Ender George. <laughs> so yeah, let's go to Saxon's base now. Okay, so I'll need. Okay, I've got a furnace. Yeah, he. I think. Yeah, Saxon works. Um, now on the holidays, so I'll probably just uh cook this cobblestone, because I want smooth stone because I want to be able to um mine here, or wherever I want to mine. Put the noise maker in, then quickly put the smooth stone back. Um. So I'm getting the smooth stone now. Uh, while that's doing its job, I'll go make some more doors. Okay. I only really need um a few smooth stone, so I'll just leave that running. Um, I think I'll put the first noisemaker in his... F no. I'll probably put it just below his staircase here. Okay. I can't have it f um, too far down, otherwise he won't be able to hear it. Ooh, look who it is. I won't say. <laughs> Hopefully he'll just leave me be. So I didn't know that he was living with Saxon actually. Itonix is a new person to the server. He um I, I'm, I haven't been sure we, where he lives. He does a Let's Play series. Uh, well, no, he has a YouTube account. Um, I think he's recently sp started doing a Let's Play series of Dykecraft. Um, so I'll just put the first noisemaker in now. Oops. Alright, I forgot the torches. Okay, there's the first one. I'll make some new ones. Okay guys, I'm back. I just finished the first noisemaker. You can probably hear it. Um, so I covered up uh, my tracks with smooth stone. So I'll head up the spiral staircase now. Now, where should I place the next one? Uh, probably right here. Have I got enough? Yep, okay. Shouldn't get too far down for this one either. Um, I think Saxon's going to be really mad at me, but I really don't care. <laughs> okay. So you need to use four torches for this, because otherwise it, it, it burns out really quickly. 
Um, Oh, he's going to really find that irritating. I'll probably put another one down here. I hear a zombie. What's a zombie doing out here? It's not night time. Okay. So this circuit's really easy to make. Um, I could probably do better, but with the re amount of resources I have, because I died, I uh, actually died recently, I teleported in lava. Um, I think it's pretty good. So... So I've got three so far. Um, I probably shouldn't put one up here. Alright guys, we're back at base and I think I might end the episode here now. So I still have the cow here, it hasn't killed itself yet. And I made the lapis into lapis blocks and I'll probably put some stuff away. In the next episode I'll probably try this pick out and might make a melon farm and a wheat farm as well. So I have to extend this place. So I might just end the episode here, guys. See ya. Are you ready for